to action here on USWO Late Night. This will be a barn burner here. First blood match for your main event. Beautiful Bobby Eaton and TJ taking on the team of Hammerjack and Style and Shane Eaton. Jingus, I'm pleased to announce this. This will be the last match I call with you, and what a match it is. Beautiful Bobby Eaton with his partner TJ taking on the Fast and Furious. And it should be Bobby, a master of all the old school tricks. He can punch you with his arm only moving about two inches, and still you feel like you've just been hit well, like this Hammerjack Sledgehammer. Very Bruce Lee-like, if you will. You Indeed. can be two inches away and still chuck someone across the room with that force, the concentration of energy. The, the chi, if you will. Very true, very true. Centering that chi and utilizing it. But look at Shane Eden with the poke in the eye, cutting off beautiful Bobby right from the get-go. And Hammerjack with an assist as well. This is... Remember, a first blood match, pinfalls mean nothing. Submissions do not count. The only way that you can win this match is to bust open your opponent and get him to bleed freely. Genghis, I gotta tell you, this is a pleasure to be calling this match as I have grown up watching beautiful Bobby. I've been watching him on Starcade. I was watching him in the Clash of the Champions. I watched him as he was a Skywalker in that scaffold match against the Legion of Doom, the Robo Warriors. He is a true legend, and it is a true honor for me to be calling this match of his. And I heard my brother Herman stiffed him the other week in Shelbyville. But right now, TJ charging into the ring, referee in an uncomfortable position. Meanwhile, Hammerjack choking Bobby Eaton with the security rope. If the last two weeks would foreshadow anything, it is this. It is that these men in the ring have no love lost for each other, and the resentment is truly at a at an incredibly high-pitched manner. It, it's unbelievable. We've seen the roof go off this place. We've seen pandemonium run wild. We've seen the electricity and felt it in the air for these last two weeks. Will this be the week that settles the score? It might indeed be. TJ has brought in a surprising array of tag team partners. First of all, it was Slash from TNA. And when Slash came through those doors, people went nuts. People went ape ish if you will. People just couldn't believe that TJ could pull such an ace out from his sleeve. And then the second week, he brought back a local favorite, the wild boy Ben Jordan. Once again, another ace making it two tricks up his sleeve. The crowd loved it, the crowd went wild, and the match was not one that would disappoint as it went all over this arena, all over the outside, the inside, the ringside area. It was truly one for the record books. But however, both of those matches did go to no contest decisions. This match, a first blood match, must have a winner. The third time will be the charm for one of these two teams tonight. So much animosity between TJ and the Fast and the Furious. Not to mention just Gordon on the outside. I don't think an animosity at that level can be, can be taken care of in just one or even two matches. And I'm not even sure that this match is going to end the whole thing. Why not? Shane Eaton and Hammerjack having the advantage now, beating down Bobby Eaton and TJ. Hey, it ain't no mean feat to beat down Bobby Eaton, but TJ catches Shane Eaton. Waxing, trying to pull him right off the apron by the look of it. Once again, as you stated, this match is first blood, which means that each one of the four men has got to find a weapon. TJ has got one. He's got a chair, and that's the type of trick he's going to need to bust open his opponent and draw blood. He's setting the chair down. He has a plan for that. Shane looking for plunder. Gets a right hand instead. I want to see heads crashing across the steel post. I want to see chains been brought into play. Chairs be brought into play. Tables. There's whatever. a chair. Ooh, missed that one. Shane Eden got out of the way in time. Luckily for Eden, because that one blow would have been enough to split him open, to have the blood oozing out from his forehead and end in this Ooh. match. Drop kick from Hammerjack right to the head of Bobby Eaton. The crowd trying to rally up, rally support behind beautiful Bobby Eaton, former one half of the Midnight Express here in the USWO Madison Arena. Well, technically, he was two thirds of the Midnight Express. Yeah, you gotta correct me. You gotta make me look dumb on my last night here, Jingus. Well, they had Dennis and Stan, I mean, he was the only one there for the entire time. Meanwhile, Bobby Eaton coming over to Hammerjack, laying in that infamous right hand of his. 
but he's still woozy. Hammerjack, meanwhile, has time to go over, beat on TJ. Look at Hammerjack pulling out one of the classic, one of the classic dupes. He's down on his knee. He's begging for mercy, but Bobby Eaton will not Ooh. stand for it, and no mercy will be given. Meanwhile, on the outside, Shane Eaton and Just Gordon hugging or something. I don't know. TJ's trying to beat up both of them. A horrific low blow by Hammerjack onto Bobby Eaton in the middle of the ring. TJ trying to make his way back in the ring, but Hammerjack laying the boots to his head. And of course, twice now, we've seen where they've Hammerjack and Shane Eaton have duct taped their opponents to the ring ropes. That could come into play again tonight. Look at the strategy of Just Gordon and Shane Eaton. Wait, it's not strategy. I think he's busted open. Who's busted open? I think Shane Eaton was busted open on the outside. And they were hiding it, but he smeared it on Bobby Eaton's head. So, in fact, They've lost the match, I can't believe this. They may not have lost it. I think the referee may think that Bobby Eaton is bleeding. I'm not sure what's That's going what on. That's what I meant.